It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Now, I bought these Harry Ramston's six jumbo battered cod fillet fish fingers. They sound great, don't they? Um, 500 grams of fish fingers. In Iceland recently. Um, but it was one of those, for me, places like Iceland are... You look at something, you fancy something, you pick it up, you buy it. It's only when I come home that I realised that I spent five pounds on these Harry Ramsden's battered cod fillet fish fingers. Five pounds for fish fingers. They better be good. They better be good for this. Um, would I have bought them if I really took the time to... Have a look at the pricing. Probably not, to be honest with you. But it is what it is. I do have six jumbo battered cod, cod fish for this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a fish finger sandwich with these cod fish fingers. And I'm going to add some chunky beef dripping skin on chips. To go with them so I want three well shall we have a look I reckon I'm gonna need three of these now they go in the air fryer between 13 and 15 minutes on a 1400 watt air fryer um, if you want to stick it in the oven it's 25 to 30 minutes the chips the chips are 25 to 30 minutes so they're going to be the same time on that 400, 1,400 watt air fryer. So we'll stick them in at the same time. But blind, yeah, okay. Whoa. I reckon I'll need just two of these. Look at that. They're not a bad size, are they? And when you think of fish fingers, you generally... Th thinking those tiny golden little things that <laughs> I'm still in that the trouble is with me I'm 45 years of age and when I go shopping I think oh fish fingers what are they going to be a pound and I just pick them up that that's that's the problem where I kind of sit these days is that the things that used to be buttons pennies are now five pounds the chips, the, the the beef dripping skin on chips were £2.75 for 900 grams. And that, that is what they look like. So we'll have a couple of them. Oh, look, they are quite thick. Look at those. Yeah, we'll have a, well, there we go. We've got a good, good few of those. Thing is with an air fryer, if you, if you space things around nicely, you can fit a fair bit in. So, I am done. What did we say? We said, 15 minutes on 1,400 watts. So, in we go. 1,400 watts. 15 minutes. Why aren't we plugged in? There we go. We are now. We're plugged in. Right, we're plugged in with the lights. <laughs> uh, right, 15 minutes, 1,400 watts. Here we go then, I'll be back when it's all cooked. Right, this food is done. Let's check out these giant fish fingers. There we go, we got a ding out of it in the end. Right, so that there's a look at it. That's plenty for me. We've got our bread and butter all kind of ready. Now I was thinking, toasted. On a personal level, if I was to have this on, 
its own. Oh, God, what oh, oh, the hell? Um, I would definitely toast these. I would definitely toast the bread. You know, it depends. Oh, two is a look at this. Look at this. Two is definitely enough. Look at that. Let's get the vinegar out. Yes, there we go. And let's put the... There we go. Look at that. Fish finger sandwich. Now, as I just mentioned, if this was just me on my lonesome without making a video, I'd probably toast the bread. I've always liked toasted sandwiches. There's those beef dripping chips. Hey, this is turned out. Wow. I should be a Michelin star. <laughs> Cook from Frozen Chef. Look at that. that. You could you could make a photo of that. Indeed, I am gonna go make a photo of that very quickly for, for the thumbnail of the video. And I'll be back now. Right, I am back then. Here's that fish finger sandwich. Now, so my calculations earlier on was like five pound for a pack of fish fingers. But I, I've just suddenly realized that these fish fingers, just two of them, fit in a sandwich. And this is that kind of jumbo toasty bread stuff. Put a bit of vinegar on the chips. Now, that works out. That works out at three sandwiches for... It costs you one pound thirty-three a sandwich. That's not bad, is it? It's not bad at all. So let's get into it. So let me make that clear. If you were to buy a pack of these fish fingers for five pounds, you put two fish fingers in a sandwich for three days, it would cost you one pound thirty-three per two fish fingers. Does that make sense? Let's get in. Mm. This is definitely a thing of the 2000s, isn't it? Did anybody have a Tiger Tiger near them? A Tiger Tiger restaurant that actually sold fish finger sandwiches? Mm. That is great. That is really good. Bread being fresh, nice and soft. The cod, the cod is pretty tasty. Now, clearly, clearly I am not a Michelin star chef, clearly. But when it comes to kind of, not of course, I, I, I'm not claiming that I've invented the fish finger sandwich, but I can probably claim that I've invented the jumbo fish finger sandwich. And that is... That is full on fish. That's not like lots of batter, lots of bread. The predominant flavour here, the predominant texture is of, yes, I'm definitely munching on some cod here. Mm. And it's decent, it's really decent.
Right, beef dripping chips, probably my favorite type of oven chip. Mm. Yeah, this is no McCain 5% fat oven chip, is it? No way. Oh. This is, this is melt in the mouth, buttery smooth. Oh. Lovely soft potato with a good dosing of vinegar. Yeah. This is good too. Slightly crispy, crunchy edge to the potato, to the chip. Good stuff. But let's take it to another level. Let's rip off the top of that sandwich and let's get some of those beef dripping chips. You've all been asking for it. I know you've been asking for it. There we go. That's what you've all come to see, a beef dripping jumbo cod fish finger chip sandwich. Mm. Even better, even better. This is stodge delight. Mm. Did anybody watch a recent video of mine where I reviewed a ham, egg and chip sandwich from Tesco? And it was all right, wasn't it? But look at this. This is a steaming hot chip and fish finger sandwich. And it's so much better. So much better. Even the man in the street, which sounds like being a carpenter, sounds like he's jigsawing some plywood. Even he agrees. Mm. So I'm ready to rate this. I'm going to go back to this. When I first seen the price of the fish fingers, five pounds, I was like, oh man, I've been, I've had my trousers pulled down type of thing. Um, you see fish fingers as an impulsive buy. You just pick them up. There's some fish fingers. Pick, you never imagine that you're going to pay five pounds for some fish fingers. But on a positive note, get the bread out my teeth on a positive note they're easily the best fish fingers i've ever eaten in my life so the fact that i'm getting six of them and i can make another two sandwich after two sandwiches after this one yeah it doesn't seem so bad now it really doesn't seem so bad so the harry ramston's cod fish fingers 100 percent cod fish fingers they're tasty they really are they're designed to go in a sandwich. They're designed to go into that toasty bread that we all buy. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Beef dripping chips? Yeah. Equally as good. Eight out of ten. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.